Professional football in America is a special game, a unique game. Played nowhere else on earth, it is a rare game. The men who play it make it so. Mark Clayton and Mark Duper were an electric duo on the football field during the 80s and 90s and are still widely considered as one of the best receiver tandems in NFL history. You could take Mark Clayton or Mark Duper and hold their numbers up, and they're twice the career numbers of Lynn Swan. Two guys. Mark Duper, Mark Clayton, that's it. That's all I grew up on. Mark Duper and Mark Clayton. For a decade, number 13 was lucky to have a pair of super receivers in Mark Duper and Mark Clayton. Duper teamed with Mark Clayton, his teammate, for 10 of his 11 seasons to form one of the NFL's most prolific receiving combinations, the Marks Brothers. They love to compete. They love to, you know, be the best they could be. And then they had talent. You know, when you have that combination, you know you're going to be successful. Every time I see Duper and Clayton, yeah. they say they made you. Yeah. You hear that a lot? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see them? <laughs> no. uh, not always. You know. well, they probably couldn't have done the things that they did without Dan Marino. And Dan probably couldn't have done the things that he did without the two Marx brothers. We all were on the, the same, what, second or third string together. Yeah. So we built chemistry with each other. We used to stay after practice. He will drop to throw it again, has, again has time, throwing deep up the near side, got a man down there, Duper, 35, 30, it's all over, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Every week it got better because uh, we were making plays that, you know, people had, hadn't seen before. The league had never seen anything like that before, and, and, and we put on a show. 10, 5, touchdown, Dolphins. When you say Mark Clayton, Mark Duper's there. When you say Mark Duper, Mark Clayton's there. Just like the Marx Brothers. He may go. Duper scores. 25, 20. Duper another touchdown. Touchdown. We all kind of made each other. That group, uh, 10 years together, I think we played, or 11 years together. You know, knowing you could have those guys, you know, outside, be able to throw the ball to was, was pretty special. And the one thing I remember most about Duper and Clayton is their competitive spirit and their attitude that they were the best. We just felt like nobody could stop us. It's easy to say, hey, it was Marino and Marino in his prime. They were unstoppable. For a touchdown. Holy Toledo, what a grab. When the Dolphins selected a wide receiver from the University of Louisville in the eighth round of the 1983 draft, few could imagine that the undersized Mark Clayton would quickly emerge as one of the NFL's most skilled players at his position, spend 10 seasons with Miami, and have his ultimate destination be the Dolphin honor roll. When you got a guy like a Mark Clayton that I don't care how small the hole is, he's going to find a way to get in there and sit down, catch the football. Clayton was only five foot nine, but combined his great quickness and speed with precision route running and terrific hands. Marino to throw. Keeps four in the pattern. Keeps Carter in the block. Goes into traffic. He's caught. Here a touchdown. Right at the goal line is Mark Clayton as he picks up number eight and spikes the ball. Mark Clayton was one of the most fierce competitors you could ever play against. Mark Clayton was one of those guys that would not be denied. He holds every record there is in Dolphin history as far as receptions, touchdowns. He was Marino's go-to guy. Marino back to throw. Under pressure. Whips it for the far side. It is caught by Clayton. He's at the 45. Down to the 30. Back to the middle. 25, 20, 15, 10. He's gone. Five. Touchdown, Miami. What a great play, Mark Clayton. He was a small receiver. But he became a big receiver in the secondary by his ability to jump and go up and get the high throws. And what a bad play by Brian Carpenter, who got tangled up in his feet over there on the far side. He had the coverage on Clayton, and then he decided, I think it was indecisive, go for the ball, cover the receiver. While he was making up his mind, his feet slid out from under him, and Clayton was gone. Two feet in bounds and held on to the football, showing what a great receiver.
receiver he has turned into. He was a five-time Pro Bowl player, earning trips to Hawaii in 1984, 1985, 1986, 1988, and 1991. His 1984 season is arguably the best season by a receiver in franchise history, as Clayton, in only his second year in the league, caught 73 passes for 1,389 yards and 18 touchdowns. Those 18 touchdown catches were an NFL record at the time, and still are tied for being the third highest total in league history. So inseparable were the Marks brothers that you couldn't think of one receiver without the other. Hey, loser! Why don't you learn how to drive, pal? Ah! One of Dan Marino's favorite targets, a dynamic playmaking wide receiver for many great seasons with the Miami Dolphins, Mark Duper. Back in the 80s, he was known as Super Duper. He is the Dolphins' all-time leader in receiving yards. And combined with Mark Clayton, he was part of the Marks brothers. Considered one of football's most electrifying receivers over his stellar 11-year career, Mark Super Duper was primarily a track star at the tiny Northwestern State University in Louisiana. However, an impressive performance at the NFL's Combine put him on the Dolphins' radar, and he was selected by Miami in the second round of the 1982 NFL Draft. Mark Duper, number 85. A student of receivers coach Dave Shula as well, Duper did not start until the season's sixth game. But with Olympian speed, he still broke Paul Warfield's record for receiving yards in a season and averaged just under 20 yards a catch. At 5'9", 185 pounds, Duper is tough as a 50-cent steak. And defenders who tried to stop him found they bit off more than they could chew. I'll tell you, when Duper gets in behind anybody, it's Katie by the door. He runs the 40 and 425, was a member of that Northwestern Louisiana State NCAA National Champion 440-yard relay team a couple of years ago. Was the Dolphins' second-round draft choice. I think he's probably won himself a job. You only got one chance to make a great first impression. In Dan Marino's first start for the Dolphins in 1983, Marino and Duper formed an instant bond as Duper caught seven passes for 202 yards and two TDs on that afternoon. From that beginning, Duper never looked back. A three-time Pro Bowl selection, Duper was selected as the Dolphins' outstanding receiver three times and was named All-AFC in 1984. I was always Duper. I remember we used to play in the middle of the street, sometimes barefoot. You always run in the cars, and there was, always, there was only one play. Go deep. Reno has dime. He goes deep. Has Duper. Duper has it. I'll tell you when Duper gets in behind anybody, it's Katie by the door. He runs the 40 and 425. You have Duper and Clayton, and the style of defense that they were playing at that time was pretty much heads up, man to man. In the opening game of the season against the Redskins, he caught that ball at the 40 yard line, right on his fingertips, touched it to his body, and just spread it away from the defensive back James Burroughs and Nesby Glasgow. You know, he was a track man playing football. He pumps once, going deep. Man down there, it is interfered with. The pass was not caught, but it was intended for Mark Duper, and interfering was Deion Sanders. You know, I don't care who you are, and you could be a Hall of Famer, and you could be, you know, playing those two guys, you know, man-to-man, -man, bump and run, or, or off. They're, they're going to beat you. Duper had him step for step. Going to Duper! We didn't like running the ball. Deep. It's open. Yeah, open. He's there. 30 yard line. 20. It's Duper. Duper into the end zone. Every time they would come back to the huddle, they would always insist that they were open and that they always wanted the ball. And that's why we liked the dad, because he would still change the play and we still would burn. Dan didn't like running the ball. Deep for Duper. That was the Marino and Duper show, that game right there. 
rush, bring Clayton 85 and Duper 83 to the left side and force the Redskins to bring both cornerbacks to the same side out of position. The speed of Clayton and Duper together forced the Redskins secondary off stride. And basically that's what happened. They rotated zone that way and, and Duper got a good release and I threw the ball because uh, the safety that was covering that half the field didn't get over in time and he made the catch and he turned on his jets and he went. It's wobbly and all alone. It's Mark Duper. Duper blazing down. Redskins offsides in the end zone. Free play caught. And, man, they were unbelievable. I mean, really, they was true. And our style of play then was, you know, we had a lot of big plays, and we're, we're winning games, you know, throwing the football. <laughs> and Bill McAtee, a week ago at RFK Stadium, he picked right up where he had left off with five touchdown passes against the Skins. And you've got to credit those fine wide receivers. Little guys, Don Shula was telling me that normally he doesn't like small wide receivers, and he's got Clayton and Duper, both of whom are 5'9", but Shula says they have such a tremendous vertical leap, they play like they're about 6'4". Little guys going up in the air and catching a football in a crowd and uh, moving the ball down the field and uh, you know putting a lot of points on the board. And they constantly reminded me that they were making me a star. In spite of his youth, Marino's leadership role on the Dolphins has come naturally. And the seemingly innate relationship with receivers Clayton and Duper that has produced 26 touchdown passes has also survived some volatile moments. I kind of wore my emotions on my sleeve and was out there and I would yell and scream a little bit. I uh, was questioning the official's call about a pass in the fence that I thought that that he should have called and Dan come over there telling me shut up and everything then he he continued it on the sideline but he was using a few choice words on hand I told him if he couldn't talk to me any better than that don't say nothing else to me at all and <laughs> it looked like we were getting ready to fight because a couple of players were, were around us was telling us just forget about it and they was pulling us apart from each other like we was getting ready to start boxing on the sideline <laughs> and not necessarily at other players is me. Because a lot of times I was upset at me. And, I, and you know, you, you look at the camera and they look like, oh, he's, he's yelling at Duper, he's yelling at Well, I did that some, <laughs> you know, some. The Dolphins, Dan Marino and Mark Clayton provided thrills and record-breaking performances Monday night in a fitting climax to the NFL's regular schedule. You know, the year in 84 that we had, we were just trying to win football games, you know, and we didn't, I didn't look at when we were doing it. We ended up breaking records and all that other stuff. It, at the time, we were just trying to have fun, win games, and it just kind of happened. Marino and Miami came right back with a miracle of their own. 63 yards to Clayton, crossed the goal line with only 51 seconds showing. Wow, we got, you know, I had 48 touchdowns. You know, what we threw for 5,000 yards. Clayton Clayton broke the uh, touchdown receiving record. It was the one thing, though, about Duber that always bothered me was he'd never die for the football. <laughs> I said, if it had water down there and I was about to take a dump in the pool, that's when you die, not on the football field. There was always this, this bet between Duper and Marino. 
And I'm like, man, I start yelling at him. You should have dove for the ball. He said, you dove for the ball. He said, Dan, listen. They don't pay me to die for the ball. They pay you to put it on the money. Moreno said, Duper, you know, I throw you perfect passes. And, no, you don't. You throw it, I go get it. But he didn't tell him that. <laughs> he, this is what he really told him. You're making all the money, hit me in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> listen here. Danny. And I throw it in the end zone, and it was, you know, it, it if he a dove bit. a little bit, stretch, he would have caught it. He, he didn't do it. Since you could overthrow me if your life depended on it, Marino. And true enough, you know, Danny would try and overthrow him every now and then, and it looked like he got him. Has excellent protection, throws deep, man wide open. That's a touchdown for the Dolphins to Mark Duper. And somehow or another, Duper, being a track guy, had that, not that second year, a third and the fourth year and he would go get it. Going deep, he's got a man down there. Duper, he's got it. 10, 5, down to the three-yard line. Whoa. Hello, motherfucker. And That's I said, the way it was. I was like, okay, dude, I can understand that. I brought this up, uh, I forget, last week, and I said if Marino had these rules, you would have thrown for close to 6,000 yards. I, I, I just think... Your ability with you were so far ahead of your time, it was scary. Scary. We had uh, and we had uh, some, you know, Duper and Clayton. I mean, they're 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 somewhat underrated compared to you know a lot of the great players of all time. You know, at that position because they they were special. And I had them guys for ten years. You know, together on one on one side, one on the other, and, and uh, you know, if they were around in this game the way it is today, I mean, they'd be running by people like you know. <laughs> Like crazy. Marino drops the throw. He sets. He fires. Got a man at the 15 yard line. Hits the tackle. Out of the 10. This is Clayton. Looks upfield. Pops it deep up the middle. Man open. It is Cooper. Touchdown. Right, second and five to 48. Marino drops the throw. Has time. He's firing deep up down the near side. It is caught. Cooper reception down at the 28 yard line by Mark Clayton. He went up into double coverage and came down with one heck of a grab. Up the 27 yard line. And Henry? I've been standing down here a lot of years. I've never seen anything like Clayton does every game. That was an intercepted pass under any other receiver. That was concentration. You'll never see a better catch than that. He just took it right away from Simpson. First down at the Seahawks 28 is where they mark it. Marino looks. The quick end pattern. Touchdown. Going to Mark Duper. Marino drops the throw. Has time. Going deep across the middle. It is caught. Down inside the 10 to the 5 yard line. Holy Toledo, what a grab by Mark Clayton. Marino completes the duper 21 yards down to the 31 yard line. And as he slanted deep on a deep post into the middle, caught it at the 10, and Marino drilled it right in the numbers. To Marino, shotgun, lost at the sideline. Man down there. Touchdown for the Dolphins. Caught by Mark Cooper. Here's the snap. Marino back to throw. He looks. Fires across the middle, wide open. Here's Clayton at the 30. He runs into the opposition at the 29-yard line. You could not ask for a more perfectly thrown ball. And super beating Bellinger one-on-one. -on -one. He could do that all day long. In the pocket, across the middle. Clayton's got it at the 45. Runs for the sideline. Try to get out of bounds. Back to throw Marino. Fires it. It is caught by Duper. So Marino continues to slice him up, taking whatever they give him. He's thrown two touchdown passes. One to Duper. And one to Mark Clayton. Welcome back to Air Marino. Been grounded for a few weeks. 50 yards on that one. He goes over 300. Back to throw Marino. Here's a deep pattern down the far corner. It is hit. Caught. Touchdown. Great reception by Mark Clayton. Holy Toledo, what a grab. That ball was tipped by Clayton on the defensive back. Clayton kept his concentration. Waited for it to come down, grabbed it on the sideline of the end zone, kept both feet in bounds, and held on to the football. 33 yards for the touchdown. Keith Simpson, the left quarterback, went up with him. But Clayton, what great concentration showing. What a great receiver he has turned into. Protection, fires across the middle. Duper's got it, takes one. 48 to the far side, 50. Out of the post territory at about the 48-yard line. Bump once, fires the end zone, head caught for a touchdown. Mark Clayton's got it. Clayton into the end zone for the score. And Dupert makes his fifth TD reception. And boy, was Eric Thomas beaten badly as uh, Duper ran a stop and go. And they blitzed David Fulcher on that play. Cincinnati playing high-risk defense, and they paid for that gamble in that instance. Here's the play fake, drops the throw. 
as all day throws it downfield. Clayton, 50, 45, 40, 35, out of bounds inside the 30 at the Bills 28 yard line. Marino will throw it. It is hot. 25, 30, might go the distance. Down to the 40, down to the 35, goes Super. He's going to score down to the 10 to 5, touchdown. Five yards to Mark Duper. He got inside the cornerback Steve Brown. Just a quick pop, a slant across the middle, and he had blocking upfield with him. Here's Marino back to throw into the middle. Caught for a touchdown by Mark Clayton, and this time he holds onto the ball. Clayton gets the touchdown. So the Dolphins on Marino's 18th touchdown pass of the season, and he leads the league in that department, jump into the lead, seven to nothing, against this tenacious Houston defense. Second and seven, quick drop, Marino, out pattern, caught on the far side by Duper, he gets out of bounds. Drops the throw, fires across the middle, cut, cut by Clayton, he's got a first down. He's looking, fires deep, man open, Duper's got it at the 50, out of bounds. Dan takes a quick drop, goes for the corner of the end zone, touchdown, Clayton. Man who was beaten on the play, Haddix, the cornerback. So Clayton running around and threatened to dunk it across the crossbar. Here it is, back he goes to throw, quick pop across the middle. Duper into the middle of the field, 15, cut to the near side, 10, gets down to the 5, he's inside the 5 to about the 3 yard line. Mark Duper, holy Toledo that he brought a move on that cornerback. 20 yards, gave him a hip and then took it away. Junior Robinson and Fred Marion saved an even bigger gain. He caught the ball on the far sideline and then a juke step back to the middle of the field, cut it into the middle and gets back to about the two is where they mark it. Uh, Roddy LePet, they made him atone for the sins he's committed on the Dolphins and at least Super did. It was a sensational move. Looks, fires for the corner of the end zone. It is caught by Clayton. Walk catch. Holy Toledo. Oh, it's cool. right off the hip of the defensive back, Wayne Haddix. And Marino goes to Clayton for the second, 72nd time in their career. They lead the NFL in all-time passing combination touchdown-wise. Marino to Clayton, their 72nd career combined touchdown. What a catch. He went to the flag, turned around. The ball was there, but so was Haddix, the defensive back. And he took it right off Haddix's body. Not only did he have to take the ball from Haddix, as the ball popped up out away from Haddix, he got it back and had to be careful to get his both feet in bounds and did all of that. Here's Marino, play fakes to Higgs, drops the throw, fires across the middle, and is caught down at the 30-yard line. Knocked down immediately is Duper. Looks and looks, fires, caught by Duper at the 20, goes inside of the 15 to the 14-yard line. Here's the snap. Cincinnati showing blitz. Marino breaks out of the pocket. He fires. Man wide open. And he's caught by Duper at the 10 to the 5. He's down at about the 3 yard line. In the pocket. He fires. Man open. At the 40. Hook. Goes to the 35. This is Clayton at the 30. He's down to the 25 yard line. He juke stepped away from the cornerback over there. A pickup of 25 yards. You know who plays corner on that side, don't you? Great job by the offensive line and the remaining back of picking up the blitz. They came with six. Here comes a strong safety. Marino, great patience, great courage, staying in the pocket. His ability to get that extra second enabled Clayton to get open and make that play possible. Oh, Dan, wait, you way bigger than me, brother. <laughs> hey, how's your brother, man? <laughs> All right, let me tell you something about football. Where you at right now, that's the glorious part of your life. Right. You're supposed to enjoy everything that comes to you. Right. And you know, if people don't like it, oh well, it's their problem. You know what I mean? That's you heard Marvin, I know you're gonna see this. <laughs> he just gave me the okay. But when you step on that field, you know what it is. Yeah. You're the best, right? It is. You know? And I got one move, I'm gonna show him one move. But if you use that and you get caught with it, it's your problem. Yeah. Stick your hand out, you know, you see that, you see that?
While these two guys are a little older, the jokes are all the same. Like when I asked these two, who is the greatest Dolphins athlete of all time? Mark Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hesitate, Clay. Just say okay. <laughs> they may not see eye to eye on everything, but they do agree on this. They were one of the original premier whiteout duos, which helped the NFL evolve into a passing league in the 80s and early 90s. When Marino came in and Clayton, I was there already. And then when we hooked up together, it, it was like from a running game to a passing game. And then we turned around and the Dolphins invented this four wide, three wide, then four wide. We the one started that bar. Did you realize what you were doing 30 years ago with spreading? <laughs> you know, yeah. you, you were doing what, three wide back then? With we did three, sometimes we did four. Yeah. You know, a little bit of that. Third and 16. Marino! Yeah. Is it caught and held? Yes! Yeah! Two for his first touchdown of the season. But while they helped change the game, a changing of the guard in Miami could have slowed these two down. Went in the fourth quarter. Went in the fourth quarter. Jimmy Johnson said he didn't want to go to the candy store with Dan as his quarterback as much as Coach Shula was relying on Dan and going to that candy store. So yeah. I'm so glad that Coach Johnson wasn't around when, <laughs> when, when we were around because we sure like Dan going to the candy store. Well, you know what? <laughs> if we was there when Dan and uh, uh, Jimmy was playing, that, we'd have changed the plays in the, in the you know. No, he told, he told Dan he could not yeah, audible. But we, gonna, we was going to audible anyway. You know that. As long as you audible and you make the play, Right. What can they say? What can they say? Shut up! There you go. Dan won. There he you won. go. Right. Dan won. I, I can't do my full Marino, though. <laughs> it's a tradition. No, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. Oh, I, 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 I even forget how to do it. That's great. That's good. Good stuff. Good job, guys. 319! 319! Shut up! <laughs>
One of the 50 greatest walking our way right now. And wait till you see what my man has on. <laughs> Mark Duper is decked out Super like Duper. nobody nice. else. What's going on, Duke? Good to doing? see you, my friend. How you doing? You are ready for the night, aren't you? Yes, it is. You know, it's a, it's a great, it's a great uh, thing that's going on. Uh, the 50, top 50 players, and uh, we wish we could have had more guys because there's a lot of guys that really did a great job yeah. uh, for the Dolphins. But uh, I'm just happy to be one of them. This is more than a football team. It's like a fraternity, isn't it? Oh, most definitely. Uh, after football, we we stay together. Uh, we talk to each other. We know we stay in touch and everything. It's like a family. What's this night going to mean to you, Mark? Well, it means great, you know, to say that the fans and uh, the media and everybody saying that I was one of the top 50 players for the Miami Dolphins. And it's been 50 years since the Dolphins have been started. And... That's a great feeling. Absolutely. I got to ask you, man, the jacket looks great. I know where you got that. That's the alumni jacket, but where did you get the hat? <laughs> well, you know, it's just one of the things I like. I like hats. That's all I can say. <laughs> You're wearing it well, my friend. Uh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Great to see you. And, of course, it'll be great to see all the guys here tonight. Duper was inducted along with Clayton into the Miami Dolphins honor roll on December 15, 2003. The owner of four team records, Duper also ranked second in all-time receptions with 511, third in career receiving touchdowns with 59, and holds three of the top seven single season receiving yards totals in team history. Duper also holds the records for the most 100 yard receiving games in a career and a season as he emerged to become the Dolphins all time leader in receiving yards at 8,869. Clayton finished his 11 year career with 582 receptions for 8,974 yards. He also scored 88 total touchdowns. He is in the NFL top 40 all time in receiving yards and receiving TD. He holds Dolphins records for career pass receptions and TDs, as well as receiving yards in a single season. At one point in time, the Dan Marino-Mark Clayton tandem was the most prolific in NFL history. A man who made magic with Dan Marino and Mark Duper in the Dolphins' high-flying offense of the 80s and early 90s. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, wide receiver in team history, Mark Clayton. And I'm going deep, and Clayton, turn around and you go deep right there. And I thought he was just going to throw me one of those little cupcake passes and stuff just so make sure I caught it. In 2005, Clayton helped punctuate Marino's Pro Football Hall of Fame induction speech by running through the crowd and catching one last pass from the legend thrown from the stage. And a guy drilled that ball like we were playing on Sunday. I remember this day the rest of my life. Claire, kids, mom, dad. Thank you, guys. Hopefully I'll see you here someday because you guys deserve it. I wouldn't change nothing in the world about my career. Ten years the with, the, with the, ten years with these group of guys, man, that's a blessing.